Hello everyone. Hope all are doing well. In today's session, we are going to discuss a very important topic that is waste management. We will learn how to recycle waste and keep our environment clean and healthy. Waste management refers to the process involved in managing waste from cradle to grave. This includes the collection, transportation, disposal or recycling and monitoring of waste materials produced as a result of human activity. The whole purpose of waste management is to reduce the amount of waste that goes into the landfill. Instead, rubbish should be seen as a valuable resource. Now let us see what is waste recycling. Waste recycling is an important step in protecting the environment from separating organic and inorganic waste to using recycled products. Every small action can have a positive impact. Don't forget to support recycling programs in your community and educate local people about the importance of this practice for the future of our planet. Recycling actually enables waste products to be converted and reprocessed into new products. Not only does this save on natural resources, but it also reduces energy consumption, the cost of producing new material and the amount of greenhouse gases released. Now let us see what are types of waste. Waste has been classified into organic waste and inorganic waste. Organic waste is a biodegradable material that comes from plants or animals and can be broken down easily into carbon dioxide, methane or simple organic molecules. Whereas inorganic waste on contradictory are the material that comes from non-biological materials such as minerals and is really difficult to decompose by microorganism, thus creating a huge debris. Now let us see how we can treat the organic waste. Organic waste are easy to be treated and can be converted into something really useful. The food leftovers can be treated with the anaerobic digestion and can be converted into useful fuel. In anaerobic digestion, the waste is deprived of oxygen while it breaks down, thus creating a renewable source of energy which is known as biogas. The other materials or the other waste which is included in organic waste can be treated by composting and can be converted into organic fertilizer. Composting is an anaerobic process that involves the decomposition of the organic waste in the presence of oxygen. Microorganism decomposes the organic matter and transforms it into the compost which is a material rich in nutrients and can be used as an organic fertilizer. Now let us see how we can treat inorganic waste. Inorganic waste is a type of waste consisting of materials that cannot be decomposed naturally or easily. In contrast to organic waste which comes from the living materials, inorganic waste is a material that comes from the sources such as metal, glass, plastic and paper which makes it really difficult to get it degraded. Examples of inorganic waste can be plastic, metals, textiles and electronics which includes the gadgets which are not in use or are out of service. Now let us see what are the benefits of recycling waste. It gives natural resource conservation. Recycling helps to reduce the use of limited natural resources. By using recycled materials we can reduce pressure on the forest, mining and other natural resources over consumption. It gives us energy savings like recycling generally requires less energy than manufacturing products from new raw materials. For example, producing recycled papers requires less energy than making paper from actual wood pulp. I hope now everyone is clear with the concept of waste management. Waste management actually includes the 5 art principle which is refuse, reduce, reuse, repurpose and recycle which will ultimately reduce the prevention or the cause of waste management thank you for being connected